Hi, I'm Alex Simons, one of the directors of program management here in the Windows team. We're back here in the design room, and today I want to show you some of the really cool enhancements we've made to the Windows Explorer in Windows 8. Now for this version of the Windows Explorer, we wanted to focus on making a really great file management experience, but one that was confident, where users felt like they know exactly where the right commands were, how to get to them, and that they were always in a reliable place. Plus, we also wanted to make sure to respect kind of the heritage of the Explorer. It's one of the longest standing features of Windows. And we wanted to surface a few hidden gems, those cool features that a lot of our users didn't even know were already in the Explorer. So this is the new Windows Explorer. Right away, you'll notice that all the things people do most frequently are right here on the main Home tab. In fact, our telemetry tells us that over 80% of what people use Windows Explorer to do is right here on the main UI. So for instance, things like copy, paste, delete, they're all right here one click away. I can make a new folder, and if I don't like that folder, I can delete it. One of the most commonly requested enhancements to the Explorer is that we add improved keyboard shortcuts. You'll see in this version of the Explorer that just by hitting the Alt key, you can get instant access to all the shortcuts for every command. I just hit Alt, select the tab that I want, and you can see here's the shortcuts for everything. Now, in addition, there's a really great hidden gem here called Copy Path. I like to use this a lot when I'm trying to send someone a pointer to a file on a network share. All I have to do is click the file, click Copy Path, and then I can quickly paste it, maybe an email, and send it off to that person. Super cool, especially in a network environment. So next I want to show you the Share tab. The Share tab is really cool because it makes it super easy to take things, bundle them up, and get them ready to send off to somebody. So I can select like these four files. With one click, I can zip them. I can select my zip file, and then with another click, I can email it off. Or, alternatively, I could just take those files, and with one click, I can share them with anybody in my home group. I can share them with people on my domain. It just makes the process of sharing files around with the people who you need to share them with much, much easier. So next, I want to show you the View tab. I think the View tab is coolest if you look at it in pictures. So here I am in my View tab. I get live previews that show me what the different icon size options are going to look like. I can, with one click, show my file name extensions or hidden items. Uh, plus, but this doesn't really give me what I wanted. I really want to see more details on some of these pictures. And you can see over here in the Details pane, a really nice cleaned up view of all the metadata for this picture, for instance, from Amsterdam. Now, I know I had a picture I took last week that I want to use as my desktop background. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for it, because I know I took it in the state of Washington. And then I'm going to use my Search Contextual tab here to quickly specify that, hey, you know what, I took this last week, and there's the picture I'm looking for. I can also use my Picture Tools tab and set that as my background. So here you can see, there's my cool picture as my background. The last thing I want to show you is a feature that the team here really loves. Uh, to do this, I'm going to go into my C drive and then on the file menu, I can open a command prompt, but now I can do it as the administrator. This is really cool for executing batch files. I use this all the time, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to my quick access toolbar. And by doing that, I automatically get a key tip assigned. So every time I want to access this command, all I have to do is hold down the Alt key and press 3. I hope you've enjoyed this quick preview of the new Windows Explorer. We've worked hard to make it a confident, focused file management experience that respects the heritage of Explorer and brings out a few of those cool hidden gems, like the features that a lot of users don't even know already exist. We can't wait for you to try it.